Pop Squad. Uh, I'm going to adjust my mirror. We've got some music tonight that's left over from last night's live stream. Last night's live stream was a lot of fun. It was, uh, once again, very, very good. Had a really good time with everybody. It wasn't as long as some of the past ones. This was only just a little short of two hours. Uh, it looks like I've been doing about like two and a half hours. I guess three weeks ago it was an hour and 42 minutes. But uh, we had some great stuff. Let's see. Uh, Blade and Young Lean, Juice World and Young Thug, Psyche, who is a new fave, uh, P S Y C H I loved his stuff. Really, really interesting. Somebody who just goes by Paul. Uh, people have said you got to listen to more. Uh, some Halo Oliver Francis slash Alex Kelly. We're going to be doing some more of him tonight, so stick around. Uh, Miles Meekloud and Henry Mosto, and uh, apparently Henry Mosto. <laughs> Miles was talking to Henry Mosto and. He was like, yeah, I want that guy to react to my music. And Henry, all you got to do is send me some stuff. Uh, I would love to check out more of your music. Uh, RxK Nephew and Aline Plains slash Wyland. Um, so if you want, go check out that video. It's a couple hours of just some really good music. And it's fun. Uh, we had a really good time. Uh, people even asked me some questions about me, which doesn't usually happen on the live streams. But there you go. So we've got some leftovers from last night. Uh, we're going to be doing this track from Woody called Rest in Piss. And uh, I love that name. We're going to do something from Clarence Clarity. We're going to do some... I don't know what is this. This is Clarence Clarity. I moved that around incorrectly. And then, uh, like I said, some Oliver Francis slash Alex Kelly, I think it was. So uh, let's do the song we're here to do, which is Rest in Piss. Two minutes and ten seconds. I did not actually check for lyrics on this, and I probably should have. So let's do that real quick. Re uh, Dreamcaster. That is not correct. Who wrote Rest in Piss by Dreamcaster? Okay, so I guess uh, there are no lyrics for this. Not that I can find. Not, not quickly. So let's check this out. Two minutes and te ten seconds. Woody with Rest in Piss. Let's go. Okay, so is Woody, uh, I'm just remembering some stuff last night, Woody, uh, not Harrison, not Harrelson, not Woody Allen, Woody, uh, somebody said they were associated with Shed Theory, yes, that looks like that is correct. So, a Dreamcaster, Shed Theory. Maybe that is what Woody goes by? Huh. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to back up and start this over because I want to hear the whole thing. So if you weren't listening, was we just put down my dog today and it sucked. <laughs> I, like, <ooh. laughs> I just try and think of the thought process of putting that in. And it honestly just feels to me like he was working on the song, he's writing the song, and this is something that came up and he just is like, I'm going to put it in the song. That is crazy. I mean, it's just a crazy thing to include in a song. And I, I, part of me totally gets it. And part of me just thinks like crazy non sequitur, really funny, just trigger, triggers a laugh because that is crazy. I came up with good names for daughters. Uh, and I can't believe this, but I think I'm a goner. I 
Just put down my dog today, that kinda sucks uh, We had her for 12 years, so it's kinda fucked uh, And I'll miss her stupid, dumb fucking face uh, But at least I know that she's in a better place now uh, Suffering and shit, like she couldn't even jump up on the couch anymore Speaking of suffering, my grandma's back is really fucked up <laughs> Sometimes I think like maybe she has some perks that I can steal But I would rather not because I want her to think highly of me Until the day that she dies, but until she dies I'll be fucked up, I'll be fucked up But yeah, it can be baby, I think that I love you I don't know how to tell you, I don't want to tell you now Maybe you'll find out when you hear this song If you hear this song, like I don't even know if you listen to this shit Fuck the button in the parking lot uh, Take my heart, it's all that I've got well, yeah, We were posted up on the sidewalk uh, You broke my heart like a block from my crib uh, You fucked me up, I don't know what I did uh, We wrote in black marker uh, Came up with good names for daughters uh, And I can't believe this, but I think I'm a goner Oh, now that is a really interesting song. I really like that track. And what... <laughs> the, the part about his grandma, she, his ba or her back hurts, and he thinks about stealing her perks because, you know, uh, that would be pleasant. But he can't do it. He wants her to think nice of him. Wants to her to think he's a good kid, a good guy, a good person. And, uh, it, I mean, in its messed up way, it's actually really sweet. But I think what this is, this is a song about him being at war with himself, right? Like, there's this part of me that just wants to be, wants to drug away the pain of life, the, the feelings that he has, the emotions that he has. And there's another part of him that says, I can't just do that. That can't be the only thing that motivates me because I will ruin lives that aren't mine. I mean, think about taking taking pills from your grandma who's in pain. And then not only is uh, are her drugs gone, but she's got to deal with the fact that they were taken by somebody she loves, one of her grandkids. And she doesn't have that medicine then for when she does hurt and she needs it and <laughs> wow but this is i mean this is a song about at being at war with pain being at war with life and the crap you have to go through and how you don't want to deal with it and so you start taking drugs and how that can then mess you up later on because at some point if you take enough drugs and you get really addicted to drugs and you just don't want to deal with the thoughts of all the crap that you've done to get to the point that you're at and how shitty a person you feel like you are and how terrible that makes you and this is a much much deeper peek into his psyche than I think people would probably give it credit for and I think it's really good and you can hear all the words very very clearly the music is not intrusive it just is there to set up the song and make it sound good make it even sounds a little happy a little simple right like that he wanted you to understand every single word of this and be able to put yourself in his shoes and he, he wants to be a good guy. He wants to be a good person. He, but he still has those thoughts, right? It's I mean, it really is. It's almost like intrusive thoughts that people have, like, messed up. That's, that's a really good song. I would give that a like for sure. Cannot believe. 801 views. That is a really good track. I mean, maybe it's a little darker, a little deeper, a little too real for people I, but that's a great track came out in february 20th of 2024 wow but yeah that's a winner that's an absolute winner hey i think in the next video i'm gonna do like three oliver francis tracks i think i'll just do three of them all at once 
Oh, that was a good track. I haven't heard much by Woody. I don't know if I've done anything by Woody. I, I think he's been maybe on some features or... Nothing. Nothing. That's my first Woody track. That's crazy. Huh. Cool. Uh, thank you very much for sending this in. Again, I didn't write down who it was who sent this uh, during the live stream, but I appreciate it. I know you sent money. I just didn't have time to do it yesterday, so you get it today. Thanks very, very much for sending this in. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Please go check out another video. Oh, you know what? If I can recommend a video to you. <laughs> I just I just spotted this again today. I, I had looked at it a while ago. When you go into analytics, you can look at revenue that's being made. So here's my estimated revenue for the past 28 days. Uh, but then it shows me the videos here uh, and how they do and how much money they've made. And apparently, if you want to go listen to Av XP by Yabujin, that definitely makes me the most money right now uh let's see what this is so that song has 348 views and has made me nine dollars and 81 cents somehow like that's crazy so um i guess the the amount or isolation by sleepwater that's even better that's made nine views and made me a dollar ten so it's worth $121.67 if, if you watch a thousand, if you watch that video a thousand times. Uh, but yeah, Av XP or uh, Sleepwater's Isolation would be awesome. I just thought that was a cool thing to show. Like, here, these are the videos that make you the most money. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Um, there you go. Have yourself a good, good day. Please like, subscribe, and share. Cash App, PayPal, Patreon is here in the description of this video. Also here is um, how to order one of these cool, cool stickers. There you go. Four bucks a piece. Uh, I think I've gotten all the orders that I had sent out. So if you still want a sticker, you can still get one. I got more. Uh, Pop Squat. Check it. I'll talk to you soon. I'll be back. Bye-bye. Check out some more videos. Enjoy some music. Bye-bye.